Hello again. So today I got to talk about membership operators in Python. They are the operators in and not in. They're used to test whether a value or a variable is found within a sequence, which include, but are not limited to, strings, lists, tuples, sets, or dictionaries. Here's an example. I'm going to create a word, a secret word. Let's say apple. I'm going to turn this into a game. I will have a user guess a letter. I will accept some user input. Guess a letter in the secret word. What I would like to do is check to see if my letter is found in my word. I can write the following statement. If our letter in our word. In is going to return a Boolean value of true if that letter is found or false if it's not. So if our letter is found, I'm going to print the following statement. I'll use an F string. There is a, add a placeholder, insert our letter. Else, let's print, I'll use an F string, our letter was not found. Let's test this. Guess a letter in the secret word. I will guess a capital A. So all these letters are uppercase. Do take note of that. Is there an A? There is an A. Let's guess a letter that's not within this word, such as Z. Z was not found. The in membership operator will test to see if a value or a variable is found within a sequence. If it is, it returns true. If not, it returns false. Or for the inverse, you could say not in. If letter is not in word, we would have to flip these statements around. If this value or variable is not found in this sequence, it returns true, otherwise false. So it does the opposite of in. Guess a letter in the secret word. Is there an E? There is an E. Is there a Q? Q was not found. Depending on the statement you're trying to write, you can use either in or not in, whichever makes more sense in that context. Let's go over another example. We were searching for a value or a variable found within a string. Let's try a set. Lists, tuples, and sets are going to behave similarly. I will create a set of students. For a set, you need a set of curly braces. Let's add a few student names such as Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy. I will have a user type in a student to search for. We will accept some user input. Enter the name of a student. We're going to check if our student is in our sequence of students. If in returns true, let's print the following. I'll use an F string. Insert our student is a student. Else, we will print. I'll use an F string. Insert that student was not found. Enter the name of a student. Let's search for SpongeBob. SpongeBob is a student. Enter the name of a student. Let's attempt Squidward. Squidward was not found. And much like the first example, we can do the opposite. See if a value or a variable is not in a sequence. We would have to switch these statements around. Enter the name of a student. Is Sandy a student? Sandy is a student. Enter the name of a student. Is Larry a student? Larry was not found. Now we'll cover dictionaries. I will create a dictionary of grades. Student grades, like a grade book. Let's say that the student of Sandy, she will be a key, has a value of A. Squidward. The key of Squidward has a value of B. 
SpongeBob, he is also a key. SpongeBob has a grade of C. Then Patrick. Patrick has a grade of D. Here is my dictionary of grades. Then we'll search for a student. Student equals input. Enter the name of a student. We'll check if, let me close this, if our student is found within grades, then I will print the following. We're looking for keys. Is there a matching key? If we find that student, I'll make this an F string. Let's display the associated value of that key. Student, students, grade is, I'll add a placeholder. Once we find a student, we have to get that value at the given key. To do that, we'll take our dictionary of grades at index of student. This will retrieve the value at a given key. If we don't find a student, we'll output the following. Again, I'll use an F string. Student was not found. So now, if I search for a student, such as SpongeBob, we're given a grade. We're given the value at that key that we're searching for. Let's test Sandy. Sandy's grade is A. Squidward, Squidward's grade is B, and Patrick. Patrick's grade is D. But Larry is not a student. If I search for him, well, Larry was not found. Let's go over one last example. We're going to create a variable of email. It's going to be a string. Type in whatever your email is. Brocode at gmail.com. I would like to see if this email is valid. Does it contain at and a period? I will write if our value of at that character is in our email and a period is in email. We have two conditions. Check if at is an email and check if a period is an email. If so, it's a valid email. Then we'll print valid email else we will print invalid email is my email valid that email is valid i'll get rid of the at invalid email i'll get rid of the period following gmail that email is also invalid in this example, we're checking two conditions. If this value is found within this sequence and this value is found within this sequence. All right, everybody. So those are membership operators in and not in. They will return a Boolean based on whether a value or a variable is found within a sequence, which include, but are not limited to, strings, lists, tuples, sets, or dictionaries. And well, everybody, those are membership operators in Python.